Welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I'm Stevie B. Glad to have you guys with us this morning. We've got plenty of echoes, smacks, and spits for all the haters out there. Guys, this morning I would like to start a video off with a very, very special sip in memoriam of a player. Give me one second here. I'm receiving reports this morning, guys, that Hunting Pro is no more. Sadly, his 19,000 alternate accounts got ran the hell over by the Mind Art Terms of Use train, and Hunting Pro is no longer a part of the Entropian universe. Let us uh, take a moment of silence to laugh at his dumbass. So, I actually kind of had a clue to this last night. Um, I was here hunting exosaurs and some dipshit named Roger Rabbit something or another wanted to show up and start talking crap and I was like hmm this feels like a hunting pro moment that you would just happen to run into me at my go-to spot and happen to message me and happen to immediately start talking shit like you're a badass sitting behind a keyboard like it just it felt like the spirit of hunting pro right so this morning I wake up and I start getting reports that he has indeed received a perma ban for multiple accounting. And I'm like, wow. I, you know, I just, it felt like it in the moment. It's amazing how his spirit lingers even though his account is banned. So, unfortunately, we are down one hater, guys. It's, it's a big one, too. It's a big loss for me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do without people out there trying to talk shit and slander my name. But I'm sure where Hunting Pro left off, somebody will pick up. Maybe it'll be Kinozuki whenever he gets back from his oddly timed, uh, exact same time break, quote-unquote, from the game. Maybe it'll be somebody else, but I'm sure somebody will talk crap eventually. So, moving on, guys, let's talk about what is going on with these globals. I'm going to drag the global screen right here for you to see. You guys will see that Mulum, Mulum, however the hell you pronounce it, because you guys know I can't pronounce crap, are just globaling, globaling left and right today. There's another one right there, 99 ped. So what's the deal? So if you guys have been in Entropia for the past couple of months, but not over a year, um, you guys are probably familiar with the mayhem events that happen four times a year. Uh, we've got Christmas mayhem, Halloween mayhem, Easter mayhem, but there's also a summer mayhem. But summer is kind of special. So right before summer mayhem, usually there will be molems that show up. And they're usually shared loot creatures, uh, pretty high level. There's a few lower level ones, I believe, here and there. But they show up, and it's a very popular mob to hunt. There was an iron mission that a lot of people are trying to grind out before the irons go away. And they really don't have another good time during the year to grind it out. So we are kind of in stage one of the summer madness that encompasses summer mayhem. So the Molems are usually the first thing to show up. After that, we usually get Summer Mayhem shortly behind. I am personally expecting Summer Mayhem to start next week. If it does not start next week, I expect it will start in two weeks. After Summer Mayhem, we will have Summer Migration. We get mobs called Emons. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Very large, very high-level mobs that tend to step on Stevie, so Stevie stays away. Um, we will also have Longtooth. Longtooth are essentially bigger, more mature Exosaur. And it's a very, very popular time of year. Lots of people come hunt on Calypso. The mobs do move throughout the migration. That's why it's called migration. Uh, one of the reasons it's so popular is the Longtooth have a very good iron mission. I've got one more stage I'm going to complete this summer before irons fade out completely. Um, also because of the kind of stuff that they drop. So normally we either have to be in Mayhem to grind boxes or we have to find a very special mob. With Summer Migration it's very super easy. Pretty much all the long tooth drop Summer Mayhem boxes. So that's one of the reasons the Summer boxes tend to be a little bit lower in price is because there's a larger supply. We grind them out during Mayhem and then after Mayhem, even once Mayhem is over, we're able to participate in summer migration and continue farming those summer mayhem boxes. I'm holding out hope that this summer we're going to have a very good event ring in the boxes. 
that might help raise box prices just a little bit but it's going to be a good good time uh, summer is usually a great time for making new friends in entropia and having some fun with the mullums with mayhem and with summer migration migration is also a great time uh, for those of you who have good faps to maybe get some healing jobs some healing for higher jobs now this isn't going to work so much for the players with the s10s or the refurb hearts this is going to be more for like if you've got a mod 2600 or if you've got an adjusted uh fap or an improved fap or even a mod fap especially a mod fap because those bigger migration mobs hit like a freaking tank so if you've been practicing those paramedic skills if you've been investing in faps ah, take a sip this might be a good opportunity for you guys moving forward over the next three or four months um, i do want to say again how much i really appreciate everything mind dark has done for the game lately in the video where I went over the stuff for uh, version update 17.2, I forgot to mention a couple of things. Classified strong boxes are no longer tradable. Classified strong boxes, the one that have always been kind of pointless because they come with the key free in the web shop so that you don't have to buy the event boxes in game, no longer tradable, guys. So that is good. That will cut down on a little bit of the scamming. Uh, that was actually one of Hunting Pro's early scams, is he was trying to sell the boxes and the keys for more ped than it cost in dollars. And it turns out you could trade the boxes but not the keys. Um, that was one of Hunting Pro's very, very early scams, since this is kind of in memoriam to Hunting Pro finally getting banned. Um, like I said, his spirit's still out there. I'm pretty sure it was him that I ran into last night. If not, it was somebody of about the same ignorance level. So that brings me to the second point of the video, guys. Oh, one more thing about version update 17.2. You no longer have to trade in exactly 100 attribute tokens. You can trade in less than 100 att attribute tokens. However, the attribute token vendor has been disabled because it was not giving the right attributes. That will be fixed in the next update, so I am told. Um, and then we can trade those in. I'm personally going to be trading in some stamina because we do not naturally gain stamina playing the game. I will not be turning in my strength, my intelligence, or my agility yet because I do naturally gain those in the game, and I'm going to continue to be saving those. So that brings me to my next point, guys. It's not fair for me to make videos about Entropia without talking about anything that's going on in the real world. Um, the real world is certainly something that affects all of us. It affects how we play, how we deposit, and the amount of time we have. Um, when COVID hit, it was something that, you know, it gave a lot of us time to play, but less income because a lot of people lost their jobs. Um, now, all of a sudden, COVID has magically disappear disappeared, and now everything is about the riots and the looting and George Floyd and the apparently somehow systemic racism in America. So guys, I want to point out something that happened to me a little bit earlier this week, and then I want to make a huge admission. So I was at work earlier this week, and I had a gentleman come in. And he said, you know, I'm here to do this. And I said, okay. And I said, uh, sir, today is like June the 2nd. And he's like, yeah. Your bill was due like on May 3rd. Okay. O okay, so here's how this works. If you don't pay your bills on time, there's consequences for that. This is not, you get to just pay whenever you want. Oh, well, it's not that he wasn't, you know, responsible enough as an adult to pay his bills on time. It was, I'm white, and I caused all the problems in the world. Okay, guys, I learned something about myself in that instance. I learned that I am indeed racist. I do not care if you're white, black, yellow, purple, or a freaking green Martian from Mars. I do not care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, or in between. I don't care if you want to tell me that you're in love with a horse and you want to marry a horse. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I'm actually a little bit pro-horse. Here's the thing. I am 100% racist against ignorance. Ignorance is a race. Do not get that twisted. Ignorance is a race. It comes in all colors. It comes in all ages. It comes in all sexual orientations and gender identities. Ignorance is a race. If you are so ignorant you have to blame somebody else because you cannot pay your bills on time, then that is ignorance. As a full-grown adult, if you are over the age of pretty much 18, if you have a functioning prefrontal cortex and you cannot pay your bills on time, just own up to it. Hey, I didn't have the money. Hey, I forgot. 
hey, you know, something else happened. But to go around blaming everything on other people, literally everything, is kind of problematic. Now, people get on my case all the time. They're like, well, Steve, you always blame shit on other people. That's because I'm typically right. <laughs> um, there's a difference in blaming somebody for something and actually being correct about something. There is a big, big difference in that. If you tell me the sky is, you know, purple, pink, orange all day, every day where you live and you live on planet Earth and we take a picture of the sky several days in a row and it is clearly a light blue color, that is not me blaming something on you or me being a smartass. That is me being right and you being wrong. It's like people who want to argue with me about efficiency being king. Oh, no, efficiency isn't king. Mindark has released a statement that says this, that, and the other, and damage per pixel matters. Hmm, what is the biggest factor in determining a weapon's efficiency? Damage per peck. That's right. So it's not me blaming people. It's not me being a smartass. It's me being correct. And I am sorry. This goes back to the you are ignorant as hell for the hunting pros and Kinozukis and Roger Rabbits of the world. Um, when I'm right and you're wrong, that's not an opinion, that's a fact. I'm correct, you are not. I'm also the first to admit when I'm not correct. There has been many times I have learned things about this game from people who have been here longer than me. I think Megabolt is probably one of the most freaking knowledgeable people about this game that there is. And what I love about Mega is he always takes time to answer questions if he has time. Like if you're ever in rookie chat and you just shout out, Hey Mega, do you know a good spawn point for this? Bam. He has the coordinates for you. If you have questions for him, he almost always takes time to help people out. As long as you're not a dick about it. Um, and I think that's awesome. I think we need more people like Megabolt. I think that's one of the reasons they named the teleporter after him. I still haven't figured out why they named the teleporter after him. I'm sure it was probably an event or something. I have no idea. But he, of all the people that have ever played, he probably deserves a teleporter being named after him more than anybody. So guys, I, I want to make a, a couple of distinctions here. First of all, I do not believe that people are inherently racist. I typically try and look for the good in just about everybody even hunting bro. The problem is that people are inherently ignorant as hell. And there is where my problem lies. I'm sorry, I will give you every benefit of the doubt, but when you prove to me repetitively that you are just an ignorant piece of crap, you're an ignorant piece of crap. That's all there is to it. I'm sorry, if you have a brain, use it. If you refuse to use that brain, that is your problem and not mine. And this circles back around to Entropia. So we know that crafting explosive projectiles for, on condition, is how you get those all-time highs that are like all-time, all-time highs. But we also know that if we do that, we're going to lose money hand over fist. I am sorry, if you choose to craft EP4 on condition and lose thousands of dollars attempting to make an all-time high, I can't feel sorry for you. I just can't. However, if you are truly learning the game and you're a new player and you're still getting the hang of it, that's a little bit different. We, we all have a learning curve. And this is where Hunting Pro and the scammers excel. You might have seen my, my other post or my other video about this. People are not inherently stupid. However, I do believe some people are inherently ignorant. But whenever you start playing EU, everybody is inherently ignorant. That's why I have to make videos that constantly update about the same subjects. That's why I'm constantly answering the same question is there's a learning curve. Well, in life there's a learning curve too, and if you choose to ignore that learning curve, that is strictly your problem. Um, just like in Entropia, if you choose to ignore the learning curve and you want to use low efficiency weapons, arguing that I am wrong, whenever you don't realize that damage per peck is the greatest single factor in determining a weapon's efficiency, then I can't help you. I just can't. So that said, guys, there's going to be some good stuff in Entropia over the next probably two months. Depending on when Summer Mayhem starts, I may make a beeline to another planet to try and smash something out before Mayhem. If I do that, I will not be making videos while I do that. I will have two days to smash out something that should take four days. And I won't be able to record while doing it. If I do record, it will be at the very, very, very end of it. But I do have some other stuff saved up. Um, I recently started recording a series of videos for a playlist on the channel called Stevie's Insights. It's stuff not necessarily related to Entropia, 
but it will hopefully give you guys a little bit of an insight into how my mind works because a lot of people say, you know, I've played since 2004, but I didn't get the video until I started watching your videos, or I didn't get the game until I started watching your videos, and I think maybe giving you guys a little bit of insight into how I see things and how my brain works might give you guys a little bit of an edge on the game when it comes to analyzing stuff. Um, something else, guys, remember that I didn't learn most of this by figuring it out myself. I stand on the shoulders of giants. The only reason this video is here, the only reason I've gotten as far in the game as I have, is because literally other players came before me, other players figured stuff out, and then I just built on that knowledge. Um, it's one of those things, the first six months I was free to play, I googled the game literally probably a hundred times a day. I, I would come up with question after question after question I didn't know the answer to, and I would just Google it. In fact, I think I have some uh, coupons for one free Google search laying around. Hold on one second, let me see if I can find them. I know they're in here somewhere. Hold on, guys. That's a plushie. Mankini. Old Armatrix amp. Hunting Pro's Tears. Uh, I can't find them, but I know they're in the sack somewhere. I've got my Stevie sack handy. Anyway, I've got coupons for one free Google search. If there's ever something you guys don't know about the game that you're trying to figure out, give you a tip. It's probably on Google. So stop by the Stevie sack and pull out a free Google search coupon. Hop on over to Google and Google the game because there's a tremendous amount of information about the game online if you will simply search it out. And again, this goes back to my ignorance theme for, for the day. There's a tremendous amount of information online about everything. This is literally the best time to be alive if you're somebody who likes information because literally all the information in the world collectively is at your fingertips with search engines like Google. Um, so if you choose to remain ignorant, it's a choice. It is not you didn't have access or the education wasn't there. 99% of the things I've learned in life have come from independent study. And the internet makes that so easy, it's absolutely ridiculous. You don't need encyclopedias anymore. Most of you watching the, this video probably don't even know what an encyclopedia is. So, I mean, really, there's no excuse to be ignorant. There's no excuse to play uneco. There's no excuse to have questions unanswered because literally everything you could ever want to know is at your fingertips. That's why I make these videos, is I want you guys to play smarter, not harder. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I want this to kind of be the in memoriam video to Hunting Pro. That's why I've gone a little bit off the rails about how ignorant people can be and how you have to choose to be ignorant in today's society with the kind of information we have available. Guys, make no mistake about it. Hunting Pro will be back under a different name if he's not already. His spirit lives on through people like Roger Rabbit and other dumbasses who think that they know how everything works and how everything should work. Um, the fact of the matter is there will always be trolls. Entropia, unfortunately, is not like real life where you go to your office and you have people who are highly educated, smart, logical people. It really is like the South Park WoW episode where it's a whole bunch of trolls sitting in their basement and a few normal people also playing. Um, unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it, South Park kind of got it right. So, unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast. Certain types of people are attracted to MMOs. We get a little bit better mix than most, I think, because of the fact that it also attracts people who need an outlet that can make them some money in their free time when they relax, or maybe lose them less money, or maybe be something where they can get that itch for, for seeing if they can make some big money happen uh, that doesn't live near a casino, something like that. So we do have a little bit better mix than I think some MMOs, but in general, guys, there's a reason South Park got it right. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. I want to thank everybody who helped us reach a 1,000 Stevies. Very super excited about that. Hoping to hear back from YouTube very, very soon. Again, rest in peace, Hunting Pro. It was fun while it lasted, man. May your spirit live on in a thousand trolls hereafter. Um, we will give them the exact same respect that we gave you, which is pretty much none because you didn't deserve it. Um, so to all the Stevies out there, thank you guys again. I will be back with more videos very soon. There's lots of changes coming to Entropia, especially with the new direction they're taking the game and the attention that they're giving to the players. Thank you to Mindark for finally doing something about Hunting Pro. 
it's sad that we had to report him 9 billion times, but we're glad to see you guys finally taking some action. Uh, guys, look forward to Summer Mayhem. Look forward to Summer Migration. Even if you're a lower-level player, there's going to be some great opportunities to make PED, and we've got some other great uh, information about making PED, saving PED, and some great things you might not have thought of coming up in future videos. I've been Stevie B with EarnPED.com. If you want to help support us, guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because the haters will hit it. I guarantee you, Hunting Pro's out there somewhere, and he's going to be hitting it on every single video. So you can definitely do that to help us out. Also, guys, be sure and let us know in the comments, what other trolls have you seen that have the spirit of Hunting Pro? Let's make this all about calling out the spirit of Hunting Pro and the other avatars who seem to be him or mimic him or have his uh, troll type spirit. Let me know in the comments below. If you want to really help support us, head over to earnped.com. When you earn, we earn. Go over there this week, guys. Check in regularly. You might be surprised. I might do a little something special over the next week or two to celebrate hitting 1,000 subs on YouTube. Uh, you're going to have to check EarnPed on the daily to see if I do or not. Hint, hint, it probably won't be today. Hint, hint, it might be tonight or tomorrow. Hint, hint. So check that out, and we will see you guys with more content really soon. Take care, guys.